All right, guys. This is a video for my friend in Brazil right here, for my friend Alexander, and for the guys in Mojotan. You know, I've been noticing some of the videos that they're making. Like, if you adjust this head height right here, you want to be centered in the frame shot so that you can move around in your in your videos, which I'm going to show you in my tutorial right now. Because some of the videos I notice, you have a lot of look at this headroom over here making the videos you want to adjust your camera so that you are framed so that this head part right here is actually you have a good spacing you have good spacing here from shoulders to shoulder on your screen so that you can actually move around and this is for you Alexander my friend in Brazil and my friend Don all the people from Mojoton I've been noticing I've been practicing all these video stuff so I'm going to show you how to move around using our video software that we uh, most of us already got and we'll see how it goes because I'm going to show you on this tutorial right now. This is for you guys. I'm learning and I'm sharing the value so that others can make the same type of things, the same type of graphics, how I'm going to change this back screen maybe in a little later on. But let's start with this one. All right. Watch the tutorial. <music> Alright guys, this is Gordon here again and I had a question from my friend in Brazil and maybe this can help a lot of the Mojotons, Mojotoners wondering how I'm making myself move around on the screen when I'm making my videos and this is a, just a quick tutorial on how to get it going so that you can move around. This is my playhead, this is, if you're watching this video you see my intro, you see my intro on my timeline talking to you about frames putting yourself in the frame getting a good ratio for you so you can move around on the on the screen but we're gonna if you're watching this this is my intro to this video exactly I move my my scrub hitter over here I have my intro I can add it from my clip in to my timeline where it shows my intro on what you got going on you can add text you can everything you can add everything else but this is for my friend in Brazil and he wanted to know how I'm making myself move I'm going to show you right now I'm going to pause all right Alex as you can see I downloaded your Facebook video and I'm talking talking to you directly since this is for you mainly and I wanted to suggest see the lighting in the background here this is why I use a green screen with good lighting and I put myself in a ratio right here but for this purposes you wanted to see how I'm making myself move what I'm going to do here is since I got your video right here, so you see me, that's you talking Alex. Regardless of what it is, this I downloaded and I stuck it. You can see here I stuck your video on my clip bin and I added you to my timeline. Now what you're going to do is when you start your Camtasia, you usually get this. What's going to happen is you have to move this so that you come to visual properties, right? And you're going to click on this so it turns blue. What happens right now is you're going to add animation right here and you're going to actually move yourself. That's why it helps if, it, if you have a green screen where you, this is going to be your background and you see this little blue line right here. This is how fast or what you're going to move it to so that you can move yourself on the timeline. So this is how it looks like when it plays back. You got yourself in the middle. You're gonna play, you're gonna set this point, you're gonna set this point, and it's actually gonna move yourself, see? So now, like you said, for every 20 seconds, you wanted to move yourself, so we're gonna pause, then we're gonna add animation again. So, you're gonna add animation, you're gonna start this off in the play hit here, play hit here, and you're gonna move yourself, add animation. Oh. We have to go we have to go to this one we have to go to here and we're going to add animation this way so you come across the screen so watch this you're going to go here you're going to move across this way right and then you're going to actually move yourself back after you figure out where you want to time that might be that might be a little too fast so we're going to take out one just right click delete one 
And so you're going to move back to your position that you were at, that you were at. Okay. So we move that up here and then you can actually, you can add a timeline, add animation here again. And we're going to take your video. We're going to move it up here. So that say you want it to go. So you have more animations right here. You got one moving to the left, right? You're going to get one moving to the right, hopefully. Okay. And one up to the corner. See how simple that is? See, that was your video moving to the left and to the right. Now, how I'm using my green screen, right? Right here. Say you got this here. Then we're going to move it back. Now, making yourself all taken away, you're going to go back to visual properties and you're going to go right here to the deck, remove a color. You see what happens? The lighting wasn't, wasn't good for you right here. But after a while, you can play with this and you can kind of, kind of like move around. You can adjust the tolerance and you can actually put yourself in the middle of your video and you can adjust the softness. You got to play with this a little bit. That's why lighting is going to be so, so important for you, Alex. Now we have that video, right? And watch what happens. That's why it's so important to put a, a back screen in your video so that you can add something like, we're going to take this, I'm going to import media. I'm just going to put a simple, a simple background pic and then we're going to stick this on. Let's go images and thumbnails for me and I'm going to stick this here. This is just for, this is just for purposes of, now you got to make sure that this this here is always going to be on the bottom so now watch this see i mean the color might the color for my um background might be too much for you but you, you get that kind of idea you might have to play with it a little bit over here so now we have you talking in my video uh, using my thumbnail but we have to adjust your your tolerance levels here don't mind me if I go too fast or we're gonna have to go adjust the tolerance level so that you come in and that's why it's important for you to have a, a green screen or maybe a whiteboard so that you can move around. Watch, it's gonna move around. You're gonna move around right now. You're gonna go move to the left, right? And this is you, Alex. This is you talking. You're gonna to move to the right, left and right, and then back to the corner, right? And that's your video. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is not a, a, a good one for you to practice, um, practice at, but Remember, you have to use your animation right here. Make sure this is clicked on. Add animation and you can do whatever you want. Move, move yourself around. I'm going to delete this. Right click. Delete this so that you have your same video. And look, look at this, Alex. If I'm here, what I can do, right, is I can add animation and we can spin this so that's kind of more visually and scale whoop, so that everything comes through now watch what happens right here left right we're going to spin this around and come back forward with that and you see how you came close in the video right here we can add animation again and we can scale it back so Make sure this blue line, once you start moving around this here, you see that blue dot the, on the, on your playhead? It's gonna, it's gonna move around knowing that, making sure you know what you're getting so you can always edit after. See, we're gonna come back. As you can see, then watch this. We can always use this. We can add animation 
and we can shrink it down so that you can put a video in your video say you wanted to put something over here so watch we're gonna take your video again I mean let me know Alex if it's or any of the rest of the mojo tongers or anybody looking to video marketing that if I'm going too fast for you left we're gonna go to the right we're gonna have your video scroll up you're already focusing up we're gonna go back and we can shrink that video right there all right see so now what, what's gonna happen is say you wanted to put another video here I'm gonna just just for purposes of having something to stick over there we're gonna stick another Alex video here oh let's see we're gonna we're gonna stick this here add to playhead so now look what happens Alex your scrub head is here we moved your video to the left of the screen right and your same video here we're gonna move this main one if you plan your scrub head it's gonna be here make sure this is connected make sure this is blue right go to visual properties we're gonna add animation we're gonna shrink this down to this way see how this blue hit and we're gonna move it around so what's gonna happen is you're gonna have and you just move this play hit here so watch what watch what happens we're gonna have two videos going your videos that I just downloaded coming back down and it's gonna show you how you gonna do with it so what you're gonna have to do Alex you just play with it or if any Megan them are watching this or we're gonna move that it's gonna move that it's kinda neat huh so we're gonna just shorten this video so I just want to show you for purposes you know you're just gonna have to play with it play around with it and see what you can do for adding your animations and that's how you move your videos all right all right any more questions contact me private message me find me on Facebook text me 702-277-8360 I'm here to help guys this is what I hear I'm sharing the value sharing what I've learned over the past couple months and let's see how we can get it done all right catch you later bye